Hi, I'm Rick Poole and I'm the owner of Bristol Recording Studios and Bristol Voice Studios and I want to welcome you to our studio today and we're going to give you a short tour and show you what happens here in the studios. Would you like that? Okay, let's go. Right here is called Studio B. This is really a, what we say a lot of the kind of meat and potatoes work for on really our most glamorous studio, but we bought it very valuable work that's on it here. So this is um, you know, it's a very simple mixing board here, all the synthesizers, simple speaker setup, you know, overview in here, and um, that's basically it for Studio B, okay? Let's move along. But this is a typical example of uh, one of the teaching spaces in here. Students come in and they work with the teachers normally on any given day, except for Fridays. Today is uh, keyboards like this. You can actually put um, get MIDI files from the internet and, uh, and and just bring in your your tracks and it'll play them. So that's kind of a neat thing today. Where where uh, if the teacher doesn't know the song, you can have a whole full professional backing to uh, your training. So it's kind of cool. We'll move along. Studio C that we're going to go into. Now we may have a session going on in here, so we'll have to be very quiet and we'll see if we can actually show it. This is the lobby area of Studio C. As you can see, this is the high end portion of the studio. Eventually, everything will look like this. Oh my god, we have some guys here right now. But, oh, it's an engineering class. Okay, so this. This is Chris Billius, he's our senior producer and engineer, and so he's in charge of all the technical guys here. If you come in here, you can shoot through here and see the control room, what the performers actually see when they're, when they're in here recording. So this is an isolation booth, and if you can see by the design here on this, this room is designed to sound seven times larger than it actually is. And so what we use this for is more acoustic instruments, violins, strings, guitars, horns, things like that, to give it an actual chamber effect. So back in this area was the second space we got. And this is, right now, a teaching room. So there are actually three or four companies here at Bristol. There's Bristol Recording Studios, there's Bristol Voice School, which is the little thing on the vocalist, and then we have Bristol Entertainment, which is an entertainment booking agency as well as a management company. If you see Jada in this video at some point, they're uh, the main project of Bristol Entertainment right now. You know, this place is so grand. I've heard so many stories, but it's a wonderful thing. Oh, yes. You know what? There's one, there's one I want to see. Jada. I want to see Jada. I want to see. I want to see some girls. Right, they, they open up for B2K in the workroom, so we gotta check them out. Oh yeah, B2K. They got skills, but can they touch on this? Can they touch on this? This is Jada. Is that Jason? Is that Ashley? Is that Laura and Ellie? Unique, isn't it? Wait, let's say we pay a visit to these guys. Not really good too much else, so singing was really the only other thing I had. Okay. I started taking 
same lessons here, like Jason, and my voice teacher told me about the audition, so I was like, all right, that's cool. My first audition, and I was like, eh. I didn't know what I was doing. I was the worst singer <laughs> ever. <laughs> so, uh, but um, yeah, so I auditioned and got in after a while. Well, um, mine was like the exact same as Jason's. Um, I was coming here for some voice lessons. I came here, and then after a while, um, I was being heard of from the teachers and other students and other people there that I. So I got. I wanted to do the audition for like this new pop group, like R&B group, and it was really cool. And, and I, was, oh. I also like to know. Now, um, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make, uh, trying to break you guys up. You know, just I am not breaking these girls up. But I want to know who's the better of you guys. Which one? Which, which one can sing the highest note? Which yeah, one? that's me. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> no, just, pretty much we're all. When we first, us three first um, got into the group, Jason was Lewis, like how amazing. It was like whoa. Okay, it was us singing. Jada, Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> It's all her. It, it was all her. It but was. Nothing is, is becoming more of all of us. We're not competing against each other. No. We're competing against yes. all the other people out there. We're in the group together just trying to make that bond, which we already have. Yeah. Well, I would say that you guys are yeah. incredible. Well, you heard it first on the Beantown block is Jada. Who, who just graciously with Bristol Studios gave us a wonderful, 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 wonderful interview. But before we go, girls, I would like to ask you if you could just give the audience, the B Town Block audience, a special song from the bottom of your heart set. Mm. So sure. would you want to? Oh, You're willing. Yeah, yeah. How about um, some boys to Yeah. All right. Exclusively for the Bean Town Black.